It was the late 70s, early 80s, and there was a guy called Dieter Duffer. He's kind of the inventor of the Eurorack format. These modules that are three units high, it's the smallest size of modules, also have four units and five units high, four units like the Bukla and I think the Search, and a 5U like the Moke modular and synthesizers.com modular stuff. So those are the really big ones. Now, Dieter Duffer was kind of the inventor of the Eurorack because he wanted to make it affordable and yeah, accessible to anybody out there. Um, I think it was the mid 90s that the first A100 series modules came onto the market. He developed these modules and they were released in the mid 90s. They were pretty popular. A little bit later I got into synthesizers myself and yeah Duffer it was the first series of modules that I delved into because they are somewhat affordable and by affordable I don't mean cheap because personally I think you have on the one hand cheap that feels cheap that doesn't sound good cheap means it really costs close to nothing it doesn't stand for quality because cheap means all the components inside are of lesser quality. Um, so that's in my opinion cheap. Affordable means that there's a decent kind of quality, that the sound is not bad, that the sound is good, um, the price is right, it's not too low it's not extremely expensive, it's not throw away cheap um, like with the cheap stuff um, and the components are of yeah good uh, manufacturing so these products they are made well and they will last for a long time and the Dofer modules in my opinion they're very sturdy they're very um, strong, I would say, and well-developed, well thought of. They might not be the most sexiest of all the Eurorack stuff out there. There are these exotic brands, these boutique manufacturers that just are not affordable prices go into the hundreds of euros they start pretty high and they go even higher there are even some uh, like I would say Macbeth and some other manufacturers that if you go into those modules you're paying yeah four figure uh, amounts of cash so yeah I wouldn't call that uh, accessible and I wouldn't call that affordable. So in this series I will give you insight on lots of modules from Dufer but also from other manufacturers. I made this big giant modular system and I will discuss module by module what the functions are, how you can use it, use some examples try to keep it interesting, give some knowledge and also try to keep it a little bit fun and light with nice sounds, not the normal bleep 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 bleepy bleepy sounds that most um, instructional videos do when it comes to modular because it's yeah you can make extremely annoying sounds with a modular synthesizer but you can also 
make really nice sounds. So I will try to combine a little bit of both, not too much on the annoying sounds, more the like the the, the, the cool things. Um, try to yeah put it in perspective because when you're into modular it can mean few things, it can be um, a way of relaxing, kind of self-meditational thing, but it can also be that you just want to make music and do some sound design, make great sounds. So that will be my focus, we'll focus on the sounds, we'll focus on how that particular module in that video, how it will work and what the features are of those modules. So I would say please if you want to be notified when these videos get published subscribe and hit the bell button. Um, also I want to share why I'm going to do this series. One, I like those Duffer modules, they have been great and I have a big section of my synthesizer just with Duffer modules, so that means something I think. They look very technical, because they are very technical, they are simple, pretty simple modules, they can do particular things, some things even really well. So I want to make this series and when I started with my modular adventure about 10 to 12 years ago, around 2011, something like this, I watched a lot of the instructional videos from Raoul's World of Sins. These are very slow, very instructional videos about some Duffer modules. It's very technical and it's really deep into those modules. I kind of want to add a little bit of that in my upcoming videos, so the technical stuff without going too much to the extreme, keep it a little bit yeah, exciting I would say. I don't want to talk more than 10 minutes without having made any sound on the modules. I want to make these sounds and tell why and how and show you, let you hear how these sounds are made and what is possible with those particular modules. That will be my main focus and I hope you can appreciate that. If you're a beginner and you're not sure what to buy and yeah you want a look on those modules to see if they can mean something in your system or your upcoming system, then I would say Make sure you're subscribed and you get these notifications because I think these videos could shed some light on, in my opinion, a lot of very underrated, underappreciated modules from Dofer and from other manufacturers out there. So yeah, I would say please comment if you have any questions or if you have a particular module that you really like and want to share. So in the description down below I will try to put a list of all the modules in my system. It will be an extensive list. I hope there's enough space in the description down below to put all these modules and links affiliate links so if you want to support the channel you can always click those affiliate links and yeah even if you buy something else the channel will get a small percentage to yeah keep running to keep making these videos and I do it because I like to do it but it's always great to have some support so I would already like to thank you for watching for liking this video and I would say up to the 
first video where I show off these modules and what they can do and hopefully see you soon. Bye bye.